one of the things you'll quickly move into after you get the basics down is sub reports, nested reports, uh, actions where you have drill down, uh, you drill through to another report, not just simply drill down and expand a section in this report, but you actually drill through to a completely separate report with values pre-selected. So we're going to talk about that over a couple of uh, this video and the next video. First thing I want to do is just get you comfortable with the idea of actions. So we're, we're talking about reporting services actions first. Now a couple of videos ago during the exercise I created a template and I've placed it in the course files let's get it up here the course files chapter 5 so you can follow along if you want to but it was just an attempt really for me to create a nicer looking report from the beginning so that when we looked at our work we were at least <laughs> not cringing at how horrible it looked so that's what I'm gonna start with pretty much for the rest of this chapter so you could see the template is you know nothing too fancy it's got the little bit of textual information an image uh, then we have the information area, the body of our report here. So here's what I want to do. I can, uh, pretty much any one of these report items, I can assign what's called a report action. So for example, I could do this. This is a common piece uh, that I would add to a report, uh, particularly if I were a third party uh, developing reports to give to a client. Uh, let me put this here I would put something like a hyperlink in okay. and I'll go ahead and just size that I think it was eight was the rest of them uh, with those and just put it there and when I run the report right now there's nothing really uh, it, just because it's a URL or just because I typed in a hyperlink is meaningless to reporting services it doesn't matter because I haven't actually defined it as such. I haven't said this is a hyperlink and it's doing that and I don't want it to it snaps to that grid and there's nothing I can really do about it. I don't want to create an overlapping one. It's good enough for the demo here. But so since this is a report item, what I can do is I can go to the properties. So I click on the text box here. I don't necessarily click on the text, okay? so I don't grab the text, although I really could. Uh, I could really do either one of these here. But I want to see the properties. And it's this action that I want to go to here. Okay? So I can do it on the selected text, or I can do it on the entire text box. It's your call, your choice, whichever one you want to do. Now in this action, then I get to decide what is it that I want to do. You're going to turn this into a hyperlink. And when the user clicks on it, what is it that you want to do? Okay. I'm going to choose, because this is a support link, to go to a URL. So we go to the URL. We can make that based on expressions. You know, what I will often do is if I store URLs in a database, then my URL will actually be an expression to say, you know, whatever my fields is. Uh, oops, sorry, fields dot um, URL uh, dot value, for example. So if there was a field in my report called URL, then it would then make it clickable in the report. Okay. So there's our URL. We say OK, and you know, when we run it now, we can click on it, and it does exactly what we want. And I've got a, a DNS issue with this particular one, but it doesn't underline it. We can't look at it and see that it's a hyperlink. So we got a little bit extra work to do. So what you really have to do is you have to go back over to your design, and you have to edit the text of this one. So you make like the font, like uh, you really want to expand it kind of gets a little goofy here so you know usually when we're thinking of URLs you know let me just ask you to do this think of your users try to make this stuff usable okay don't put it in the same color as the rest of the text make a link a different color it drives me nuts when I go to a website and the link is the same color 
You know what else drives people nuts? When we go to a website and we see a hyperlink that's a different color, but it's not underlined we are conditioned to underlined links. Okay? We've been on the web now for 15 some odd years, uh, a lot of us have, and that's just the way links are. You want to put a dashed line under it, that's still a line, that works. But put a line <laughs> underneath the links, it's just, you read the usability books out there, every single one of them will tell you, here's the standard. When you make a link, put a line under it, generally will make it a different color and some people will advocate making it a bold font or a, a different font or something like that. I don't know. I'm probably not going to make them bold but I am going to make them different colors and I'm going to put a line underneath them here. So how we do this is uh, I change the color right here. Uh, you know, Pick a color. Blue seems just gorgeous. And what you want to do for the underline is the text decoration. So if you're coming from the HTML world, the CSS world, you're probably familiar with the CSS decorator, the, the text decoration. So it's kind of the same thing here. You just want to change it to whatever you want. Okay, so underline uh, being the default uh, one, I think, for most of us when we're working with links. And you can see it right there, but let's just see it in the report. There's no ambiguity at all. Your users will know what to do with that, right? Okay, so make it obvious. Okay? It doesn't detract from the overall visibility or the overall usability. It enhances the usability. So I find these types of things particularly useful for support links. Like if I've got something down here that you know, ask questions in this forum about this particular report or make a support request, um, feedback forms, things like that. I'll usually put those in the footer or at the base of a report. And that's how I will have them link through. This is how you create hyperlinks. You create a report action. Okay, So you can click on either the text box. Okay? I can go to the properties of the text box. Notice that the text box here does not have an action. That's because the only action is associated with the selected text right here. Okay? It's set to go to a URL. All right, so that's the basics of actions. I'll tell you what, let's come back in the next video and I want to show you how you can work with drill through on reports and you can actually drill through to another report and you can pass parameters to that report.